Okay, well, hello everyone who's watching this for some reason. Um, I found this game a while back and I thought it was pretty neat because I really enjoyed the music. I didn't get too far because it was on the website. And when I realized it was on Steam, I figured, that, hey, I should get this. So I did, and I got a, another game by them. But uh, this is Auditorium. It's a game about music. Really nice music, in my opinion, as you might be able to tell in the background. And I'm sorry for the lower volume thing, but it really messed with me in the beginning. Okay, let's start this. Four levels. Okay. Now, the object of the game is to get these lines in here. And you have to use this thing. You can uh, move it around, make it bigger and smaller. That's what you have to do in order to do this. And this one's fairly easy. You see, there's that music I was talking about. Now, this will pretty much go if it's the same thing as the Flash game. It'll pretty much keep going and going until I click something. So, let's go. Level 2. Now these arrows and stuff will change and as you can tell they affect the, the white bars differently. And judging how big the circle is, the greater the effect. So since it's curving, if I make the circle bigger, it's going to curve and large, uh, much worse. So if I put it about right here, and I stretch it, and there we go. As there are more and more of those little bar things, as you may have noticed, uh, the music changes depending on which one's being hit. The music will actually change depending on how many of these dots are hitting the, the thing. As I'll show right now, hopefully. Yeah, okay, we'll use this up one if I can get it. Oh, just, just right. Hmm. No, I thought I could use that one. Okay, let's try this one. Just to prove my point. See, it's, uh, it's a lot slower and stuff. Right, they probably do like this. It'll be pretty much the same thing, but it'll be more broken up depending on how many are hitting it. Next, I would want to. Really nice in my opinion. Graphics aren't too bad either. But it just looks and sounds nice. Thank you. 
Now I saw I am doing this at least because I somewhat remember these, but man. Uh, that was a while back. Probably about half a year, maybe around December last year. Well, that's not even half a year, yeah. But around December last year is when I found out about this, but uh. I played it quite a bit. I didn't get too far, but. I did enjoy it, so I'm already kind of used to how these things work, it's just I don't remember the puzzles. And that's it for Act 1. Okay, now it's back to Amphist, I think it's pronounced. Okay, now I remember this. Um, see, as you can tell, these white bars aren't turning on this one. Well, the reason is because it's pink, or purple, or violet, or whatever you want to call it. What I have to do is there we go. See, now it's that color. Now I have to move it through here. As you can tell, the different colors change the different types of music, so that it's more like a, I guess like a different type of piano or something. Uh, like I can't say I'm not a musical genius or anything. I don't know too much about different sounding instruments. I did notice that the backwards check mark. I don't know, like this one. This is started. I started to get to where. I was when I started getting confused. Each one for their own thing. Really nice sounding music, real peaceful. I think this is start. This is about where I started getting confused.
<laughs> They're down with that even knowing I was gonna do that. I think we'll fill up over time, hopefully. <laughs> Sit back and just play itself out.
There we go. Okay, well, I'll end it there for now. If this gets a few views, maybe a like or two, maybe a sub, um, I'll continue it. If not, I'll start another series and I'll play this on my other time. Okay, thanks for watching. If you stayed till now.